started. Uh, just a couple of announcements that I have. It's, it's great to have you here. Uh, we have on Wednesday, just so you know, we had a number of teams enjoy our homework time yesterday with tutors here. Uh, and Tutor. so plan on that for next Wednesday at 4.30. Now for one hour, we have what we call homework schoolwork time, and we provide tutors to help you with your homework. So come next Wednesday, and uh, you can enjoy that. Before that, we have a great Bible study. And then there are delicious hot dogs, too. I think they brought out the, the better hot dogs. I, brought, I picked right? them out yesterday. I did two of the yellow and one of the Oscar. Okay, so you got Oscar Mayer ones in there. All right, well, you'll, you'll have to see if you can tell the difference between the Oscar Mayer and the ones we usually have. Uh, here's the difference. Oscar, the Oscars are a little bit longer than the other ones. All right. Well, you gave it away. It's yes. supposed to be a competition. Yeah. All right, does anybody know these ladies' names from last week? Come on. Come on. Challenge you guys. What? I'm not saying. You're not saying because you don't want to mess it up. Because I think somebody, I think somebody called her May last week. Uh, I've been here for years, PT. That's Ruth. Oh, you're saying that you know and you just want somebody yeah. else to say. All right. Uh, let's figure out a way that they can remember your names. Um, uh, like uh, my name. Well, I don't know, is there any Tim or Miller? That's my name, Tim Miller, by the way. And a Miller, somewhere in our history, we probably had somebody who was working at a mill. Uh, that's how they actually got names uh, yeah. years ago, is they often identified them with the work that they did. But uh, go ahead, tell them your name. Beth Lunston. Beth Lunston, and Beth, Beth, is it Elizabeth? No. It's Beth, okay. I never knew that. So, but Beth is a lot of times the nickname for Elizabeth. But yours is Beth on your on your birth certificate. All right, and uh, Chris Mice. And Chris Mice and Chris. Uh, I'll never forget that one because my son's one of my son's name is Chris. My so. cousin's name is Christopher, but we all call him Chris. All right. Is it is that Wait, short for uh, another name? Christine, right? That's what I was going to say, but I blew it with Beth, and so I thought I'd better ask it first. So, or Christine. All right, and we thank them. Give them a hand, everybody. Thank you very, very much. And dad died five years ago, and uh, you remember him, right? Do you remember my daddy? Yeah. wore kind of a cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. That's Rarely right. You guys you remember, remember that, too, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's a day that, uh, on, on, on days like that, like Christmas and Thanksgiving, it's a, it's a little difficult, but... But uh, you know, that's our sadness because my dad, he's not sad. He's in heaven with Jesus and all those who have died in the Lord and that's a good thing. We don't ever want to forget that because that's a good thing and we can celebrate that, right? So we'll celebrate that as each one of you through Jesus who died for you and faith in him will go to heaven someday, uh, but through Jesus only. All right, so let's have a prayer. I'm just trying to think if there are any other announcements. Uh, not that I know of. Uh, no, but anyone's welcome next week, Wednesday, from 6.30 to 8, keep coming to Bible study with us. Oh, yes, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Yes. Amanda is uh, now going to an enjoyable Bible study at St. Mark's, and uh, you're welcome to go along with her, and Brandon is also uh, attending. You won't be uh, yeah. you If he can. can. What? If he can. Got it. Yeah. Okay, uh, today we'll be taking a look at um, uh, the Lord's prayer a little bit more in detail. Has anybody heard of the Lord's Prayer? Some have? Okay, all right, the Lord's Prayer. Some have not, and uh, you might not even know why it's called the Lord's Prayer. That's going to be a question we're going to answer at talk time. Uh, you might know that in the Lord's Prayer there is one of the requests that we make to God is give us Anybody can finish give us our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread, right? Exactly. And that's a perfect uh, uh, petition or a statement in the Lord's Prayer for us to think about right now because it's uh, thanking God also. When you ask God for the daily bread, you're actually telling him, we know it comes from you, God, and so thank you. Continue to give it to us. With that in mind, we'll pray for our physical well-being. It not only includes uh, the food that we eat, but also what we drink and what we wear and also where we live. There are many other blessings that we enjoy that come to us from you uh, that help us physically. But the most important blessings, Lord, are those that are spiritual and eternal that come through Christ our Savior. 
We pray, Lord, for those blessings upon the teens that are here and the teens that aren't, that by the power of your word, you would give them faith in your word and the message of Jesus, that through him there is forgiveness and eternal life. Help them always to believe and to trust in their Savior Jesus, so that through him they also uh, enjoy someday being in your presence in heaven. We pray, Lord, that you continue to remind us of your blessings so that every day we thank you, acknowledge that they come from you, and also we declare that to other people. Help us, dear Lord, to give you thanks then every day as we're doing right now. And dear Savior, we ask you now to be our guest. And these two prayers that we're about to pray, if you don't know them, that's fine. Just pray along with your heart. But it's uh, something that you could come to memorize and teach to your family, too. Uh, and your family that you'll have someday. Uh, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest, and let these gifts to us be blessed. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Amen. In connection with the rock, it doesn't have to uh, deal with God's word. However, connecting it to God's word in some way is really nice, like this painting right here. Uh, but talking about this, what we see is different than what God sees. What can God see that we can't see, do you think? Is there anything that God can see that we can't see? Yeah. The love on the inside of us and what we're really made of. Oh, okay, all right. You said the love inside of us? Mm -hmm. That's correct. He can see in our hearts. He can see what's in our minds. When she turned into bread. Most people today, when they get bread, they go where? Walmart. They go to the store, right? And they just buy the bread already made. My dad, he loved to make bread from scratch. From scratch. And uh, my wife does it too. And today you have a bread maker. Then you didn't have a bread maker. But today you have a bread maker. And, but you still have to get the ingredients. And you mix them up. And then you put them in the bread maker. And the bread maker needs the dough. And what that means, it kind of works it and works it. But what are the ingredients? What were you going to say first of all? Um, I made homemade dough for a pizza. For a pizza, okay. So maybe it didn't have the ingredient that Jesus talked about because uh, maybe oh. the pizza you wanted it to be flat. Um, isn't there like water and like it's... Okay, water. Isn't it like a flour and then yeast? Okay, flour, like flour and flour. then what were you going to say? I'll come back to you. Um, I was, it, it wasn't about that, but I was going to say, um, uh, before my aunts used to live on a farm, yeah. and she used to grow, um, yeast, and we had She used to grow yeast? Yeah. Okay, go on. And, uh, she also... Yep. Yeah.